Alright, alright, alright. Welcome to the channel. This is my workhorse. This is my Ibanez GRG 121DX. This guitar is my main workhorse for the past five years. Yes, I got this one in 2015 and it's still a beast of a guitar. I use it for rehearsals, sessions uh, and of course gigs for the past five years, which means I play it for about four, five, sometimes even six times a week. Uh, how does a cheap guitar, a relatively cheap guitar like this, hold up? And let's hear it. GRG features a maple neck, which is smooth to the touch, although it does have some sort of finish on it. A popular body, uh, a bound treated New Zealand fretboard, which is pine for some unknown reason. Although it looks a lot like rosewood, it feels and plays amazing. The jumbo frets are out of the box perfect and I never have to address them, mainly because they're stainless steel. Um, the great thing about this is they have Ibanez 6 uh, humbucker pickups in the bridge and neck position. And uh, just everything is very nice, regular black hardware, black pickup covers, black bridge, black buttons. Everything is just very nice and clean. The tuners, in my opinion, are very, very stable. Although they're not locking, they're perfectly and do the job great. The 25.5 inch scale length makes it perfect because it feels like you're playing, well, a Fender guitar with the sweet, sweet Ibanez wizard neck. It's like playing a dream. doing some research for this video on the Ibanez website I found that this guitar should have a five-way switch the weird thing is this one has only a three-way switch I have no idea why that is um, I bought it new at the music store so maybe one of you Ibanez fanatics in the YouTube comments can tell me why that is well this guitar has a very unusual origin story I wanted to go to the music store but I know it was pretty far away and my girlfriend wouldn't like it because I would spend a lot of money and uh, spent a lot of time there well in order to make a nice little deal with her I said you know what we're going to the big city uh, I'll take you shopping you go shopping do whatever you want uh, visit a lot of stores whatever you want the entire afternoon and once we're done I only have to go to one store that's all I told her well she wasn't really happy when she found out that was going to be the guitar store but hey that's not my problem so we, at the end of the day we went into the guitar store and I tried out a lot of guitars, I tried out some Fenders, some Tellys, uh, Strats, uh, I really was eyeballing a Dan Electro for some reason, it really liked, I really liked it, uh, but in order to engage my girlfriend who was just sitting there bored out of her mind, waiting for me, I asked her, hey, what guitar do you think I should try? She looked around and she said, that one, which was this one, and yeah, well, I asked her why, she said, because it suits you, which literally is the dumbest reason to buy a guitar. But hey, I'm not the 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 the, the person to uh, not try a guitar. So I picked it up, plugged it into a Fox, same one as I use at home, which is one of the best advices I can give when trying a guitar. Bring your own amp or find a similar amp to which you are used, so you know what sound you're getting. Um, I tried it. It felt great, amazing. It was light. It was bright. It was. I was instantly sold. So. Even somebody who has no idea what guitar you should buy sometimes can be right. And this one has been my mainstay for the past five years. 
I bought it for about 300 euros. Currently, it's available for about 200, so if I really need a new one, why not? Um, but I'm very satisfied with this one. such a relatively inexpensive guitar for everyday use comes with a few downsides. Uh, within a year or two, three, the finish started wearing through. Uh, this natural finish is only a layer of colored stain, I guess, and it wore through. So a friend of mine uh, made a custom leather pick guard for this, uh, so it looks nice and it doesn't wear through. It did have a little bit of effect on the tone, but I really like it, and uh, Ronald, who also makes custom guitar straps and a lot of other custom things such as uh, picks, I will show that to you in another video, is uh, endorsing me with that as well. Uh, the other downside is because I play a lot live, uh, I play wireless, I use the volume a lot and with a lot I mean like a really big amount which eventually wore out after also about three years. Uh, fortunately uh, they did give me the warranty and they replaced the volume pot with another one which in my opinion was even better uh, because it's a little bit more smoother uh, to the touch and uh, reacts a little bit better. So the original volume pot was all the way down and it broke up and then there was a little bit of place where you actually had a control and then it was full open. So yeah, it's uh, that wasn't the best but that's what you get for buying relatively cheap guitars. The electronics can be a bit dodgy. Um, next thing you need to know, like I said, the uh, this guitar has a three-way switching neck, both, and bridge pickups. Uh, it should have, according to the Ibanez site, a five-way uh, pickup, so still don't know why that is. But it's uh, an amazing guitar and it's very, very light. You can have this on you for four hours, five hours straight, uh, playing live gigs, um, weddings, uh, festivals, doesn't matter. It's light, it sounds amazing, and it looks killer too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. I tried to do it a bit of the style, uh, such as uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Aggiefish. Buy their merch, join their uh, communities, and subscribe to their videos, because supporting YouTubers is very important, because they make the content and not YouTube. If you like this, uh, like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube things as well, so I can make more videos. Thanks for watching, and stay safe. <laughs> Everything's